Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the tutorial about creating an animated GIF with Photoshop. Uh, again, if you're in my English 579, 479 course and you're on an NMSU campus, I would like you to use Photoshop to create the animated GIF. Okay, um, and again, you can find Photoshop in the any of the labs here on campus. All right, especially in the Creative Research Center, Room 121, and Clarabel Williams Hall. So open Photoshop and select New to get a new document created. And then we will uh, have our presets here. Let's set our, our width and height. I'm going to set our width for this at 600 and the height at 150. I think that's what I used for the, for the examples that I gave you. And then select Create. And here we go. So we have this single uh, rectangle here. It's um, a single layer uh, automatically created white. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this and create three new layers. So if you look down here on the uh, uh, kind of the middle part of the canvas, there's a selection that says, says layers. We're going to create three new layers for for this GIF. All right. So if we go to create new layer towards the bottom, we'll select that three times and we'll cre create three new layers. Okay. One, two, and three. I want to get rid of this layer, this background layer. Unfortunately, because it's set as background, it's locked. That means I can't, I can't delete it or do anything to it. Um, to get rid of that lock, I'm going to double click it. And that brings, that turns it into a, just a regular layer. So it's new layer, layer zero. I'll select OK. And now it's layer zero. I'm going to right click or I'm going to click control using my Mac on this and I'm going to select uh, select delete layer to get rid of it. Yes. So now I have these three layers. When you see these boxes in here it means that it's transparent so there's no color set for them. So I want to set them as red, blue, and yellow which I think is what I have on my examples. So I'm going to select layer three and I'll do that one first. I'll go to edit, fill and this will fill that particular layer with a color. So select fill and select color. And I'm going to choose red. So I'll choose this red up here. It's as red as it gets. And I'm going to select OK. Select OK again. And now it's filled with red. Okay. I'm going to select the second layer, layer two. Now, I can't see layer two because layer three is in the way. Remember, these are stacked upon each other, just like layers, uh, uh, like the, the name kind of implies. Um, so I need to turn off layer three so I can see layer two. I do that by selecting the little eyeball icon next to the uh, layer two, or layer three rather. Select that and it goes away. It's still there. I can turn it back on or off. But now I can see layer two. Now layer two I want to fill with um, blue. So go to edit and fill and go to color, select color again. Here I'm going to pick blue. That looks good. I just picked it on the color picker here. Select OK. Select OK and now it's blue. I'm going to do the same thing with layer 1 and I'm going to pick yellow for this one. So select layer 1. Again layer 2 is still in the way so I'll select that, get it out of the way. Turn the visibility off, rather. Uh, good. Back up to fill. Select color again. <clears throat> and select yellow this time. That looks good. OK, OK. And now I have yellow. So now I have these three layers, uh, red, blue, and yellow. Um, and they're stacked one on top of the other. So as I turn on the visibility of one, then the other goes away. So I'm going to turn on the visibility of blue, and then yellow goes away. Turn on the visibility of red, and then blue will go away. That's all that an animated GIF does, is it just runs down, allowing these layers to be um, visible or, or not visible. Okay. So essentially what you're doing is you're starting off here, and then you cover it up with the next one, and cover it up with the next one. Um, now the next thing we need is text. We need to get text on here. So I'm going to select the layer where I want the text to be on top of. So that's layer three. I'll make this my, my top layer. 
And on the left hand side, I'm going to select the text tool or the type tool. Select that. Now, the text color is automatically set to blue. I'm going to make that white. Okay. Um, we have to use, well, we can just pick it up here if we want to. Um, but true white, if we use a hexadecimal, which I usually do, is FF, FF, FF. That's as white as it gets. It's all the colors together. See? Um, so I'll select OK. Now, if you notice towards the top with the text toolbar here, I have it set to um, center text. So I'll leave it like that. Put my text tool where I want to start typing, put it in there, and you'll notice lorem ipsum automatically shows up. I want to change the type that's there. So I'm going to go to the upper left and choose something, uh, maybe Arial Narrow, if this is something you should have. And I'll write in what I want it, want it to say. I'll say heat, capital letters. Now notice this is off a little bit. If I if I place my cursor towards the uh, below the box, you'll notice that it it turns into kind of a little the arrow icon with the with the little arrows next to it. If I if I click and then just kind of bring it down a little bit, it'll pull that down for me. So now I have the word eat. Okay, click arrow again. The reason I, I clicked the arrow is because I didn't want to leave it on the uh, text tool. All right, now I can click around and so forth and not mess it up. But notice down here in our layers, we have a new layer and it just says the text layer. That's what the T is for. And it says the word eat and that's above layer three. And again, just like the actual layers themselves, I can turn this on or off by selecting visibility. Okay. Now the next one is I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to turn the red off. And then I'm going to select layer two so that it's highlighted. And then I'll select the text tool again and do the same thing that I did last time. Say at. And I'm going to move this just a little bit down. Okay. So now we have, and I'm going to click off of the type tools. So now we have, we'll say eat at. And the next one I think was Joe's, right? Now to write to write the word Joe's, I have to go select these two, turn them off, and the highlight the yellow. Select the text tool yet again, and Joe's. Okay. And there you go. So that's all three of them are, are there. So I've made my initial timeline, or my initial layer palette. Now the next thing I need to do is um, turn these into an animated GIF. So I need to put them on essentially kind of a timeline so that it will play in a particular order. So to do that, I will go to Timeline tool right here. Select. So I went to Windows, and then Timeline. And that gives me the Create Video Timeline. Okay. Uh, create video timeline, select that. Create a video timeline. It's what it's going to do is automatically, it should automatically draw this stuff in, but I just select create video timeline and there they are. Now, all of these are all the layers that I created are already there. I don't have to worry about importing them, but what you'll see is that it has them stacked up like layers again. Okay. Now, if I play this, what we're going to see is just the eat part. The reason is because nothing is is showing up below it. So let me back it off. And I can grab the end of this this layer right here and make it a lot smaller. Let's take it to right there. Let me do the same thing with the red layer. So that's the first layer. So we have eat at. Now we need to make this second layer a little bit shorter so that we can see the the third layer. So now we have eat at Joe's. And we should probably end it about right there. Okay. 
and we've pretty much done it. We've looped it all together. Now all we have to do is save it correctly. So we're going to go to File, we're going to go to Export, and select uh, Save for Web. Now the, pr the type of file that we want us to select is the GIF. Okay, and more of the color, transparency, selected diffusion, those should all be good. So I select GIF and I select save. And let's um, put it somewhere. Example.gif, save as my documents, save. And if it's saved well, then it should be there under documents. Oh, so there's example.gif. Now to actually view it and make sure that it worked, you have to open it up in uh, in some type of browser. So open with, um, I'm going to open it with Firefox and we'll see if it actually worked, okay? So there you go. Animated GIF, um, just like the example I already made. Uh, give it a shot. If you have any problems, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. All right? Thanks.